What is up everybody, Guy and Adventure here, and today, today, I want to show you a disc that I use in my bag all the time. Now, you know that sometimes on this vlog that I do disc golf, so I'm going to let you know some of the discs that work out for me, and hopefully they'll work out for you too. Well, it's no surprise to many that know me that this disc right here, this Crystal FLX Flick Zone, is one of the top contenders in my bag. It's got the flight numbers of 4303 2.0. And let me tell you what, this disc is great for these things. All right, so why do I like my Get Freaky Zone so much? The story goes that one of the guys that I, is my brother out there, Rodney Jacobson, hi buddy. He got a Crystal Flex Zone in red, kind of like mine. And the disc out of his hand, now he's a powerhouse of a player. He can really sling a drive down there. I've seen him sink several over 100 foot plus putts with a zone like this. He gets one. I'm interested. I did get a zone myself. However, it was the ESP blend. And I will tell you this, and we all know this. Even though the flight numbers are the same on every plastic that they mold out there, we know that different plastics change the flight of the disc. So even though I'd gotten the ESP zone, it wasn't exactly the same as Rodney's zone. And then came along the Get Freaky. So there I am, inside Disc Traders Battle Creek, minding my own business. Well, not really minding my own business, looking for disc, and then came this girl right here. One of the reasons that I couldn't pass it up first and foremost was the stamp that's on it. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to use the light here, but it does definitely have a beautiful stamp on it. And has men mentioned, excuse me, by Dylan Quintana on here as well, the other Get Freaky stamp was very big. And the Get Freaky on this is small, and you got more of the zone on it. So aesthetically pleasing, it's a lot better looking disc. I couldn't pass it up. Nubs had found it, and I bought it. I bought it because it was the red, because of the zone that I'd fallen in love with the first time, and then the stamp on it. Now, the thing that I like to use the zone for is when I'm out there, a lot of the times, and people can attest for this, when I'm sinking a long putt, it's because I have this zone, and I'm flicking it just like this. And that's exactly the angle that I'd be using. I'm going to let it out for my righty flick. This is a lot of Annie on it. It likes to come out. It likes to level out. And then last second, it likes to dip right into the basket. And I've scored several birdies doing so. Now, the Get Freaky Zone in the Crystal Flex Plastic is my overall flick disc. But I do also like to use it on some backhands. But sometimes, just because it's a little too stiff, that's where the old boy comes in. And ESP, even though it's still a harder plastic and still has some bounce ratio, that I like to call it, 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 in the circle, backhand, same thing, backhand. I'm a lefty backhand, so same amount of ante, maybe a little less depending on how close I am in my circles. This girl likes to dip right in instead of just bouncing out as hard as the crystal does. This one likes to hit it, bounce a little and or hit it, and it likes to do a little sink. So that's what I use it for. Now I'm going to let you guys know some of the discs that these are compared to from other companies that I've used in case you want to check out a zone like disc if you can't find a zone yourself. Now I'm going to show you some of the other discs from the other company that I, I use that I do the same thing that I generally do with the zone, same flick on Annie or same backhand lefty, letting it out like that right now. Side note, I was trying to show you some AGL, some Discraft, and some Innova, but my Innova AX3 is, is probably in my bag right now, and my bag is somewhere else, so I'm just going to mention it honorably here. First up that we have here is the AGL Baobab with the flight numbers of 4013. Now, I know what you're thinking. We have a 1 and we have a 0 here, and it's a 3 and a 0 on the Discraft zone. However, even though this has way less glide, and it doesn't have, has, or it has one up on the turn, I use my AGL Baobab for almost the same shot. The only thing that I have to do here now that's a little different, instead of holding it like this, I will have to let it go a little bit more like this for this disc to perform the same shot. And, th and then you can see my Tootsie Rolls right there. Ha <laughs> ha! I also like to use the Baobab over the zone if I'm in behind a bush and I've put myself in a Shankopotamus situation and I only have a certain window. I like to use the Baobab same way with the same flick style that I'd use on the zone, but I like to push through and roll out. And usually you can get it to stand up and then it will flop down in the zone of your choice. Next up is the AGL Manzanita with 3302. Now the zone has 4303, so I have to use a little bit less Annie when I release it. 
But this type of plastic that this is made out of, this is the woodland, or you can get the woodland hemp. This one right here is really good for on wet days or when I have a hot hand and I need a little bit more grip. I can also use the manzanita with a little less manipulation to do exactly what I'm doing right here with that one, or what I'm doing here with that one, or what I'm using the baobab for. And like I said, Innova is going to get an honorable mention. If I had the disc, I'd talk a little bit more about it, but I do not. However, it's Innova's version with a little bit more of a rounded edge, less flat edge of a zone. And from my performance, it's almost exactly the same. I know the numbers probably aren't the same, but how I throw it and how I let it go, I think that it works for me the same. In fact, it's a better... If you're going to use it as a flick drive, as a putter, and you need to get down something and to the left for me using a righty flick, I will probably use the AVR X3 over the zone because the AVR likes to hold the line longer and actually will come down and flatten and not fight back as much as the zone or the Baobab or the Manzanita will. So there's that for you. So the overall purpose of ah, the overall purpose of this vlog was to show you that this zone right here is absolutely something that is a staple in my bag. As well has a Baobab, not this Baobab, and a Manzanita. They have to be in the bag. I need them at all times. Without this, I would probably feel a little lost in the game. Another thing that I realize you might be asking is why is this Baobab in a plastic bag? Well, to be honest with you, this is a prototype AGL Woodland Baobab, and she's going to stay in the bag on throne for a long time. And right there you can see 176 Proto. So pardon me, I didn't take it out of the bag and put it in my hands, but this is one of those things that's in the pirate's chest. It is a treasure. And with that, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I hope you check out these discs. Please go to AGL.com, or AGL Discs, not AGL, because I think I've done that before and it takes you somewhere else. Don't do that. AGLDiscs.com. Go check out the Baobab. Go check out the Manzanita. In fact, just per peruse their entire library of discs. Also, like I said, if you like what I'm talking about here and you throw a similar style, go ahead and get yourself a Discraft crystal zone. If you can't do that, get an ESP. There's nothing wrong with it. I just like this crystal a little bit better. And with that being said, guys, if you like what you see here, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram at guy on adventure one word, all lowercase. Don't forget to like subscribe and ring that notification bell. So you get notified when I upload the rest of the rest and has always guys over and out.